these are then. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Yes, through the bubble wrap. It's only a new studio catalogue book, isn't it? Yes. Tell you what, I'm going to go have a read of this. Then I'm going to record a video and tell you exactly what this bad boy is. <laughs> Welcome to Beauty, as you've guessed. We've had a livery. We've got a new catalogue. Little early Christmas presents myself. Now the dust has settled, I've had a chance to read it and it is just after New Year's. Happy New Year, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Welcome back to Sabutio, the original Sabutio vlog, where we talk Sabutio all day long. So if Sabutio's your thing, talk about toys your thing, Essex boy, that sort of thing, if you just like me, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and talk to me in the comments as well, and all over social media. Now that's out of the way. New Sabutio catalogue. Regular viewers of the channel will remember, I have reviewed these books in the past. Matteo Latrusi, oh, so sorry boys, I'm gonna murder your names. Matteo Latrusi, Alessio Lupi, and Vincenzo Capitelli put together books previous. First of all, they did the lightweight catalogues, which, oh God, that's gonna fall. Oh God, which details every single lightweight figure. They then went one step further and did the heavyweight catalogue. Every heavyweight figure ever. That book was so real received, everyone loved it. And then, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, bang! Alessio puts on his Facebook that he's releasing the Black Book Collection. What is the Black Box Collection? We all talk about the lightweights and the heavyweights and the zombies and the hash bros. What about the forgotten Black Box range? What about these? What are these? What's the story behind these? Before we do a little book review on this and show you every single figure made in this collection, because I didn't know there were so many, Let's talk about the actual range itself. I only have two of these. I've only got two teams in this range and they are like absolute rocking horse You can't get hold of them, they are so rare. So we all know the story about Hasbro buying Sabuto from Waddington's and pretty much doing nothing with it. They created the Hasbro figure and the game pretty much fizzled out. Well, the Italian distributor of Sabuto and Dilio Parodi, who worked with Sabuto for years, right since the 70s, putting Sabuto out in Italy. They kind of wanted to carry on, and I won't give you any spoilers because actually if you get hold of this book, which I recommend strongly that you do, it does actually tell you a beef bit of the story. But basically, they gained the license to distribute, to make and distribute Subutio. So around 2004, they did. They put together their own set, they used original moulds, they used original bases, they put together their own range and they put it out. The range would go on, if you like, to become what Zoego is today. And Dilio Parodi is the brand behind Zoego, or Zoego, wherever you say it. We all know I've been trying to say it for years. But before that, they worked with Sabutio. That's why they understand. That's why they got Zoego so right. Because they know what they're doing with it. They've done it with Sabutio. If only they could, honestly, let's be honest, if only they could get a license for Sabutio now, that would be absolutely fantastic. But they put this range out and they didn't just sell it themselves. They sold it for a variety of places and different stores sold different things, which is why some of it is so hard to come by. And it is, I'll go as far as to say, some of these are probably rarer than some of the rarest lightweights, some of the rarest heavyweights, especially when you look through this. I didn't realise some of these teams even existed in Subutio. You could get it direct from them, you could get it on Astro Base, you could get it from Subutio. Well, Subutio World had their own exclusive teams that they did. World Table Soccer as well, they also did their own ones. And I suppose you could say it is the real, it is the last official, the last real, if you like, Subutio range. Yes, I know we get the Subutio stuff now, I've got them right behind my head somewhere. I know we get Subutio now and it's real Subutio, but this is Subutio in its truest form. It's the last original figure, I suppose, before we saw no Subutio and before 2012, where this lot suddenly started turning up again. So do you wanna have a look at one of the figures? Do you wanna have a look at one of the figures in these? Because they are slightly different. I would say these are a combination of a Hasbro figure and a lightweight figure. They come in what's very similar to a lightweight box, Obviously it's called the black box range because it comes in a black box. You had the peg, much like the Hasbro figures that you had to put inside, but the base isn't one piece. It's a two piece. So the Hasbro base is a one piece base. This is two piece. It's a little bit flatter. And if I'm honest, they don't flick too badly. They're quite nice. I suppose if you're any good, we all know I'm not any good. You could probably get a nice bit of curl on them, but they actually slide very, very well. One thing I don't know, and maybe it says in the book, maybe I've not got far enough. One thing I don't know is why they stopped doing this. Maybe they lost the license, maybe they didn't want to keep it going, maybe it didn't make enough money. Who knows? But this range is like rocking dogs. And I generally thought when I got this book, I mean, look at the other ones. There's two books for the lightweights, one for the heavyweight. I thought this would be a skinny little thing. You have no idea just how many teams are in there. Why don't you come down to the table and I'll give you a little run through of just what's in this book and why I think you should buy it. 
So there's the book in all its glory, player after player after player after player. What is fantastic about these books is you don't just get the pit, the catalogue, you also get a little couple of stories and what they actually are in front. You'll notice like the other volumes in this book, it's all in Italian. But don't panic because what you can do, you can quite easily use Google Translator to translate it. You can actually use the app, hold the app over it and it will scan down and just translate it on the screen, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm not going to show you too much because I don't want to ruin it for you, but I basically want you to buy it. So there we've got a little statement from Vincenzo, one of the authors there. Look at that, written in September already this year and we've already got it. We've then got a lovely story, I believe it's by the guy in charge of Astro Base here, Enrico from Astro Base. Telling the story behind the range as well. We've then got the range and exactly what it all actually is in there. Followed by some more testimonies, notes from the authors, thanking the people that did it. Spute their world, world table saga. That's magnificent. And then it goes on to the team. Now what's different about this range is there's no reference numbers. All the other Spute ranges have a reference number. Not this one. So this one runs completely in alphabetical order. Now, it's people like me. I'd, I want to get hold of all the Arsenal teams because I'm an Arsenal fan, right? These are so hard to get hold of. I mean, look, there's this one, then there's this one, then there's this one, then there's this one. This is the Claret one, the last shirt we were at Highbury, only distributed by Sputo. Some of these are serious limited edition, and I'll show you some of the limited edition boxing mix. There's kind, kind of free ranges, if you like, in this. Atlanta, Bill Bio, is it, look, look how big it is, because I'll be right. Australia second, Australia one. I don't even know you could get half of these, we'll flip through and see. Belgium, Benfica. Boa Vista even had a team in this range. Two teams. They had two kits in this range. Going back to what we spoke about on Netflix's video show, Christ, we could choose what one was the best one. That one looks very well presented. Although that looks like a... What's interesting about this is as you go through, this is the black orange, right? Ah, I was going to say this is on a Hasbro base. This one was distributed by Hasbro. This one's got more of a lightweight base on it. Whereas that Bayern Munich I've got over there is a completely unique type of base. It's got the little lip on the end. Look, see what I mean? Bradford, that's a slightly more shallow than that one. Benfica, Como. Christ, imagine trying to get a bet that was just an Italy one. Who's that? Coco Islands. I have to translate that, but Christ, I bet that's rare. Millwall second. One thing I did notice when I was going through this is there's no South End United. Melchester Rovers, now this is one of the ones I've got. Look at all the different types of bases. It's a great place to see the different bases. Sputer just well distributed these. Solid base, two cut, two tone base. Very interesting. Milton King Dons, MK Dons. This is one I get asked on TikTok all the time. Have you got MK Dons? Got MK Dons? And I haven't because when Subutio was around, you couldn't get it unless you get a custom. You could get MK Dons in 2004. Oh my God. New York Metro Stars, New England Revolution. Look at these. What's nice about this? It gives you the story about the team as well. It also tells you about who'd done it. Porto. Seriously, honestly, there's more. I didn't know there were so many teams in this range. Swazilands, Christ, that's a... <laughs> honestly, Vasco da Gama, I mean, that come out in the... Uh, that come out in the La Legenda range. I suppose the guys who do this next, where do they go next with these books? I suppose they've got to go to the La Legenda range. They've got to go to the modern debut. I suppose they're going to keep this going. Uh, West Ham United second looks like a referee's kit, that one. We're going, so here's the different boxes you could get. Normal box, standard black box. You then have the collector's edition. These teams in this one were only 100. There was only 100 and it basically wrote on there. So this one says 98 of 100. Tahiti, I'm guessing that is. Tahiti, maybe. Should we have a look? Let's go see how I can work out these through the box. I have no idea if that's Tahiti or not, but I'm going to call it Tahiti. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We'll find out when I translate it later. But you'd have the collector's box, and then you had the special edition ones, which is what Subutio World will put out. So there's tons of different ones of these, and honestly, as collections go, impossible. There's your index. Is that a reference number? So it has got numbers there, but they've put their own numbers on them because they are all alphabetized. Couple of pictures at the back of Sputo Club magazine because some of these black box sets you could only get from the Sputo Club magazine. You had to be a member on it. That was a person that Sputo World did. Wouldn't it be nice to have something like that today? A regular magazine you get. Watch this space. You've then got pictures of collections, pictures of teams. Wow, look, look at that collection. That is a collection. I'm wondering if that's Vincenzo Campos. That's his Sputo page. Sputo Solo Goffer. That's his collection. Wow. But I know a gentleman with a very similar collection to this. 
If you're on Twitter, go follow a guy called Canadian Hammer. He has a massive tributo collection, makes me laugh every year at the beginning and end of the season because he has to move his teams around from relegation, the promotion, and put them in the right order. But he stores his teams like this. And he actually said some of the teams he's got from this range aren't in this book. So that may just be little errors, but there may also be teams that aren't in this book that aren't in, out there. It'd be really interesting to hear, actually, from the guys that put this together on whether they couldn't get them, whether they're under different team names, because I think there was one team he had where he mentioned it was in the book under a different team name to what he had it as. So there really is more scope. This could be an even bigger collection, but I didn't know there was such a big range. I'd love R2. I wonder if someone really does have every single team in this range rare seriously seriously rare there's the poster it's one of the original posters you could also get a set in this range as well i'd like to get my hands on that one day another absolute i mean look, this is just like pawn going through this pawn for someone like me just looking for us a nice kit so england 2003 it was the old stripe down away england 2005 oh, i love them very unique face and head detail and those. I find they're very different to the original Sputers, which I quite like. Absolutely fantastic. That book is absolutely brilliant. Chaps, well done. And it looks brilliant lined up against the other three. It really, really does. So there you go. I strongly suggest you go out and grab this book. I jumped on that as soon as I could. I must say a massive, massive thank you to Alessio Lupi for sorting this out. And a massive, even bigger thank you to Gary Swift as well for handling all the shipping over from Italy. It costs a lot of money to get one of these books over from Italy, especially nowadays after Brexit. Alessio, Matteo, Vincenzo, well done on another fantastic book. If you want to go out and get your hands on one of these books, the right ways you can do it, you can go on Sputio Lab, the Italian Sputio website. I believe they have it on Astro Base as well. I'm not 100% sure on it. Or if you go on Facebook and search Alessio Lupi, message him direct, and you'll be able to pay him direct and he'll send it direct to you. That's all we've got time for this week on your Beautio. I'll be back very soon talking to Beautio, unboxing it as always. Talking complete and utter rubbish. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, and until I see you again, keep on flicking.